attempt number 19 hello everyone this is the mind that writes I was thinking that before I post any more of my poems it would be nice to make a video about myself and the way I am as a person To keep this really short and really, really short, like this short, I will be using the results from from understandmyself.com. Those who are not familiar, it's a website where you can assess your personality. You have to answer 100 questions and they will give you general baseline for what you are like according to the five personality traits. These are agreeableness, conscientiousness, extroversion, neuroticism, and openness to experience. Each of these traits has two aspects, and I will just glance over them, quickly give you my result, and tell you where they got it right or where they got it wrong. I won't be talking too much because in the previous video I went 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 over it in detail and it took like 25 minutes which that's that's too long right agreeableness high 80 80th percentile this means that in a room of 100 people, I would be more agreeable than 80 of them. I am a highly, not super agreeable, but I am high in agreeableness, yes. If you, if you ask me to jump off a cliff, I probably would. Yeah, probably would. Okay, maybe not jumping off a cliff. If you ask me to come to a movie and I don't particularly feel like going to a movie, I will still go because I am agreeable. The first aspect of agreeableness, compassion, I'm moderately high, 66th percentile, pretty compassionate towards other people and I'm empathetic as well that sounds like I'm pathetic <laughs> yeah okay so the second aspect of uh, agreeableness is politeness I scored high 85th percentile this, there is no surprise here I am generally a very polite person if you meet me face to face and uh, my only objection to this would be is that if you are highly impolite I will be less receptive and I'll just straight out ignore you Second big trait, conscientiousness. I am typical or average in it, which means, which makes, which puts me in the 41st percentile. I am not a very conscientious person. I like to procrastinate. I like to be lazy when I can. I like to do the de 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 delay things if I can. I'm not good with deadlines. I'm not good with keeping a schedule. I'm working on it, but it's still very hard to, to do that. 
with one of the aspects of conscientiousness, industriousness, I'm moderately low, 32nd percentile, yeah, I am not a very industrious person. The second, the second aspect is orderliness, 54th percentile, typical or average, Yeah, I like my loom. I like my loom clean. I like my room clean. But if it's messy, I don't mind that either. Right, extroversion, moderately high, 69 percentile. Mm, giggle, 69. Oh, yeah, I would say that it's, it depends on my mood, but as a, as a general rule, I am pretty outgoing and extroverted, and I like being around people. One of the aspects of in, of extroversion, enthusiasm, I'm moderately high in it, in the 70th percentile, I am pretty enthusiastic when the stars align, so to speak, and I don't, uh, I don't mind doing fun activities and being all hyped up about things. Let's see, the second aspect of Extroversion, assertiveness, moderately high, 63rd percentile. Mm. Let's say it says here that moderately assertive people are more take charge types. Mm. Yes. If we are in a group of three and two of you are arguing for more than five minutes, about where we should go, I would just go by myself. And then you can follow me or not. Right, fourth, fourth uh, trait, neuroticism. This is very low. I'm in the sixth percentile. I am not a neurotic person at all. I'm generally more laid back and chill. One of the aspects of neuroticism is withdrawal. I'm in the 12th percentile. I'm not very self-conscious. I'm not very easily embarrassed. I don't worry that often. And even if I do, it's not for a long period of time. Hmm. Yeah. The second aspect of <clears throat> neuroticism volatility very low. I'm in the fifth percentile. I am not a volatile person at all. It's really hard to get on my nerves. And even if you do get on my nerves, I will most likely just shrug it off and walk away. If it comes to violence and things, things like that. What else? Oh yeah. They got it. They got it right here. I am not easily triggered, offended. In fact, I like being triggered and offended. But this ties ties well with uh, the last personality trait, openness to experience. And this is where, this is my favorite part, basically, because they got it spot on. Openness to experience, exceptionally high. <laughs> I'm in the 97th percentile, which basically makes me a genius, just so you know. and. Uh, 
Yes, I am a, I am a genius. I am a 100% testified 97 percentile genius. It even says it in the test. Uh, people with exceptionally high levels of openness to experience are almost always characterized by others as extremely smart, creative, exploratory, intelligent, and visionary. So I'm a creative, exploratory, visionary genius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is true. They are ext extremely radical thinkers. Yeah, I am. They shake things up, particularly if they are also disagreeable and assertive. Yes, I have been known to mix things up. Intellect. So one of the aspects of openness to experience. Intellect, it's very high. 89 percentile. This doesn't come as a surprise. It is not a measure of IQ or EQ, it's basically just your how open you are to new ideas and abstract concepts and thinking, which I am extremely open to and I love them. And the last, the second trait to openness to experience is openness and here as well, I'm exceptionally high, 97 percentile. The closest synonym, according to the website, is uh, the closest synonym for openness is creativity. Open, creative people love beauty. I do. I love beauty. That's why I love you too. Okay. <clears throat> What else? Open and creative people can be impractical and flighty. Yes, I can be impractical and flighty. But I am a huge fan of, of anything that goes beyond the normal socially accepted or socially pushed idea, concepts, thoughts, give me the, give me the extremes, yeah, give me the, the generosity too. <clears throat> well, that's about it. If you have any other questions or would like to know more, or if you took the test yourself and would like to share your results, please do. I'm always interested in meeting new people and hearing, hearing their thoughts, your thoughts. And uh, that's about it. I hope you have a good day. See you around.